Hi, hello guys, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. In this video, we will together design this slide in just PowerPoint as usual. So simply without further ado, let's get into the work. So as you can see here, well, I, I would say that the main object on this slide is this photo because this photo is cropped to really interesting shape as you can see in this case in the in those squares as you can see here the first square second etc etc and by the way guys please watch this video till the very end because somewhere at the end i will show you the link that will allow you to download this slide as pptx fully editable powerpoint file completely for free so stay tuned all right so let's create a new slide new slide as you can see this is already blank so that's correct and i think we will start with this photo so simply ctrl c to copy this photo and ctrl v to paste it right here as you can see i have pasted it so this is already done but i will show you step by step how to crop this photo to this irregular shape so First of all, we need to reset the picture. So reset picture and size here in picture format tab. And as you can see, this is fully original photo. So the first step is to insert a grayscale instead of just a normal photo. So go to the picture format, color and, and here grayscale. Saturation 0%. All right, and the little bit and a little bit more advanced step is to insert those kind of squares. So you need to go to the insert shapes. And as you can see right here, you have something called rectangle. And as you can see, if I am pressing, I am creating a new rectangle, but we would like to create a square. So that's also quite easy. You just need to be pressing your shift key. So as you can see right now, when I am pressing my shift key, the proportions are blocked. All right, let me preview the size of those rectangles. I think they could be a little bit smaller, so let's decrease the size. All right, so, well, I think I can create those squares on the second slide. So as you can see, this is the first square. Let's create a second square. So simply use Ctrl, Shift and drag it to the top a little bit. And of course, we need to create some space between those rectangles. As you can see here, this is the space. So right now, select two of those rectangles, well, two of those squares, and also duplicate them, but in this case, to the right side. So Ctrl, Shift and drag, and drag it to the right side. And as we can see, the first problem appears because we would like all the spaces to be even. So as you can see here, there is a space and we would like between this square and this square, the space to be the same. So it could be a little bit more complicated, but simply usually I create a new rectangle. I change the color, for instance, to yellow and then I make this rectangle the size of this rectangle as this space so as you can see like in this case simply now we need to duplicate this rectangle so ctrl d just place it here rotate it all right and now select two of those squares and just simply move it to the left as you can see here there was a red guidance light so it's really useful and of course we need to position those two squares to the bottom a little bit so let's set it for maybe like here all right the next thing is to insert some of those copies so simply select both of those shapes and simply ctrl shift and drag it to the right all right 
and I think we can add some more rectangles to the top so just simply move it here make sure the spaces are the same all right and I think now we can simply select both all of those squares move it a little bit outside the slide now we can position this photo onto our slide I think we can select all of those rectangles ctrl G to group them to the one group and as you can see here they are a little bit rotated so let me preview it let's rotate it a little bit I think I think more Yeah, as you can see, this will not be perfectly as original slide because, for instance, here we do not have rectangle, here also, but, you know, simply I will create something new. So I think it will also look really cool. So we need to control shift and G, this group, so we will ungroup this group. And we need to go to the shape format, merge shapes, and here you have union. As you can see right now, this is only one shape. It is not a group. And I think we can move it um, maybe like here in this position. The next step is to, in, is to select as a first the photo and as a second this object of groups. Go to the shape format, merge shapes and intersect. And as you can see, it looks, of course, it is not perfect, but in my opinion also it looks really interesting all right so the next thing is to uh, well basically insert all of those um, typography so as you can see here this is a title and um, by the way I used railway font as you can see here for title I used railway extra bold and for body text I used simply railway so um, all right so let's let's start with the title go to the insert um, where is text box here text box and simply type slide slide with squares let's of course change the font to railway enter uh, sorry railway extra bold because we want the title to be really big 36 of size 36 click enter and move it well, I think we can move this photo a little bit to the right side because here we do not have space enough. All right. Um, the next thing, thing is to insert this cool rectangle. So go to the insert shapes and here simply draw a rectangle. And of course, we need to change the angle because as you can see here, there is an angle so let's rotate them yeah that's perfect and let's move it maybe i think maybe here onto onto this space let's preview that of course we need to change the color to this red reddish color and of course we need to change trans transparency because as you can see there is zero percent of transparency so we are not able to see photo that is in the background so let's increase transparency maybe to about 40 percent let's preview well i think it looks quite interesting so let's place it like that the next thing is to insert here this square i think it looks quite cool so go to the insert shapes and of course with your shift key draw a square change color to red let's position it well actually we need to send it to back so right click and send to back and of course we need to position it to the middle of this title so select two of those objects go to the shape format and here you have align simply select align center well actually not center align middle all right and I think we can move it maybe well actually I think this position is cool 
and we can make it a little bit smaller. All right, I think the title is ready. And basically, three last things are basically typography here, body text, and here, this subtle rectangle. So basically, this is really easy. I will copy and paste it because I do not want to waste your time. The last thing, rectangle, also really easy. Go to the insert, shapes, draw a rectangle, change the color to black, and increase transparency by really big amount, like 96%, 97%, well, 95%. And send it to back, right click, send to back. And position it maybe here. Of course, you can play around with it. All right, so let's preview the slide. So this is the slide that we have been creating and this is original slide. Of course, like I said you before, as you can see here, those squares are a little bit different, but I think this slide looks also really cool. So guys, Right now on your screen, there should be a link that will allow you to download this slide, PowerPoint slide, completely for free, without any costs, without um, any charges. So if you want, you can make it right now. Simply, simply type in your search engine this link that is on your screen right now, and you will be able to download this slide as fully editable PPTX file so um summing up thank you guys for watching if you have any questions as always just uh, post a comment i will make sure to respond to you as soon as possible because i really do care about my subscribers about my viewers the people that watch these kind of tutorials if you are more interested in slide design presentation design powerpoint and this stuff make sure to subscribe this channel with notification bell turned on because simply then you will not miss out any of my valuable videos about PowerPoint. Once more, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like this video on YouTube. Have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.